Well, we've made it to our next BLM campground. This one along the Snake River. There's a boat launch area here, parking for boats. And there are three campsites. The nicest one, of course, is always taken. <laughs> That's the one that's down there, that's level, shaded, picnic table right on the beach. Well, the river. Then there's another one here in between in this little low area. And then there's this one where we got once the two campers that were there pulled out. So we're just gonna kick back, relax, and figure out where we're gonna go from here. We got plenty of time, no hurry. Be nice if uh, those people over there left tonight or tomorrow, then we'd go down there. We might end up staying a couple days. So anyway, let's go down to our campsite we have. Seems Sarah may have gotten herself tied around the picnic table as usual. Kate's just checking out all the scents from the previous campers. At least we got a nice shaded area, so we're cool in the afternoon heat. Yeah, Kate and Sarah went around the bar. I'll have to untangle her. We got some interesting rapids out here on the snake where it makes this bend. There's a boat out there fishing. But it just seems to be a nice wide turn here. And it drops enough to have a whole line of rapids across the entire river. So that's pretty nice. So, we're going to uh, untangle the girls, sit back, relax, figure out what's cooking. I forgot I'm on mountain time, so I had to push my clock forward one hour. But I'll just pretend I didn't because I don't want to mess up their dinner and breakfast hours. Hey, Kate. Kate is so interested in who is here. Sarah just wants to get untangled. So I'm going to go take care of her and then we're going to just relax. I'll say one thing. There's a heck of a lot of bugs in the air. You can squat a handful out just swiping your hand through the air. Yeah. Must be good fishing with all these bugs. They just seem to be pretty dang thick. Ah, beautiful night sunsetting on the Snake River. Yeah, spend the night here and then uh, the next stop Planned is another BLM campsite I found a year or so ago that was really good. And if I can find that and there's trout in the stream that I saw last time, I might try me luck at fishing with my uh, Idaho visitor's license. Wait and see. Might have fish on the table after tomorrow. Who knows? Maybe tonight we'll even have a campfire. There's hardly any wind. It might help get rid of all these doggone bugs you can see even in the video here. Sarah thinks there's something in the brush. And those are really nasty stickers. I'm keeping her out of it. Kate, Kate's just exploring all the scents from People have been here before us. Jeez, they're gonna get me a broom and start swatting these things out of the air. They're just thick. Oh well. I was just looking at this. I was just looking at this uh, campfire pit here, and I gotta say, Idaho is really serious about people not stealing their fire pits at their campgrounds. Even BLM campgrounds. So, 
Maybe they should be doing this all over the place. Just can't trust people anymore. It's just well, here we are at another BLM campground, waking up to beautiful sunshine and the river right outside our door. So nice. Ah. How you doing, Sarah? Oh. Okay, Kate, you gotta have your rub too. All right. From the pipeline, we went to Massacre Rocks State Park, which is a really great state park to camp at and explore the historical sites around the area. We really enjoyed this place. Well, that was seven bucks to uh, dump my tanks and fill up my freshwater tank, which was almost empty. So now we're going to head up to American Falls, fill up the gas tank, and then head off to our next BLM campground I know of on our way to the Tetons. So it's beautiful, sunny, it's going to be another day in the 80s, hopefully not too much into the 90s, but uh, I feel great, I'm clean shaven, feel a lot cooler and a lot better. So let's hit the road. There we have Kate in her famous no slot sleeping position while traveling down the road. That's her catch-all sleeping position to hold her head steady, just snooze away the miles as we travel down the road on our journeys. Of course, Sarah's down there if you can see her. I got the fan on high so it's blowing cold air on her. It's in the, um, I think it's in the mid 80s right now. It's gonna get hot today. Hot for the rest of the week. On our way, we passed the Oregon Trail Park and Marina at which we had spent a night on a earlier trip through the same area. Well, we found the BLM campground area. Again, luckily I was able to figure out where I was going. I had to backtrack a little, but it's busier, of course, as expected, than it was a year ago. Up there is the big spillway for the dam, which right now isn't letting any water out because everything's in a drought. However, the creek that comes down here from the spillway has some nice trout in it, but I forgot to get my license and I don't feel like going back to town to get it. So, plan is to hang out here for a couple of days before I head up to the Tetons to camp for a few days up there. I think this is the same spot we camped at a year or so ago when we were first here and found this place. The girls are loving it. They got this huge grassy area to roam around on. The people down there are camping for a while. They have six rescue dogs, which they're kind enough to come up and tell me about. And uh, they're doing quite well controlling their animals since they let them run off leash when they're out loose. They came over, a shepherd came over and made some forward comments to uh, Katie that she didn't like and they took him away, <laughs> their shepherd. But anyway, we got a nice creek to play in. I'm going to see if Sarah can find bird nests again this time like she did last. And uh, I'm just going to leave things as they are right now for the night and I'll probably reposition the RV tomorrow and we'll have a campfire tomorrow night is the idea and we'll camp here for about I don't know four days before we head up into the Tetons to do some dispersed camping up there at a place I know of that I found last time through this territory. So far things are going well. I'm finding new BLM lands and 
locating the ones I've been to before I enjoyed. So it's all in how you can camp free because everybody and their brother are clogging up all the developed campsites that have running water, flush toilets, all the conveniences of home. So it's really easy to avoid those people when you can just pretty much pitch a tent or camp anywhere you want off grid. So, so far we haven't had a problem finding any place to camp. COVID. <laughs> well, the sun's changing positions so we came back in here from sitting outside because the shade is disappearing and uh, we're just <laughs> we're just sitting in here on the bed Sarah's down here on my right snoozing I got the uh, electric fan on and uh, it's nice and cool in here hey sit and keep what are you doing so Sarah is sacked out so Let's walk out here towards the uh, creek and do a little exploring. It's a good sized creek that winds and snakes its way through the brush here with some really nice pools. Oh, I see some nice fish in this one right here. Ho oh, ho! Wow! Yeah! There's some nice pools here to jump in, just cool off. I might be tempted to do that. <laughs> but heading down towards the hills. Those fish got good eyes. They can see you walking around up here. Yep. Now we just have to follow these trails through the brush to other little areas where you can get to the creek. Check it out and do some fishing maybe. There's trails, game trails all over the fields out here. This creek's got a lot of dips and turns and drops where it just all of a sudden have rapids into a deep pool with a little whirlpool like before it heads on through the brush. Got a little bit of everything in this creek, but these holes are nice and deep, easily swimmable trails through the thickets here you just have to look for one that seems the safest or doesn't have a lot of overhanging sticker bushes that'll snag your skin or your clothes to get to the beach or the edge of the creek ow, ow, ooh, that the trail leads you to these things, even without the stickers, are like spears jabbing you. Let's see. Just a myriad of trails through here from people and animals. Let's see where this comes out at. I see some nice fish right along the bank here. But once they catch sight of me somehow, they're underneath the bank where it's dug out, I'm sure. But I think with a little bit of patience you can get some trout out of the stream real easy. The stream empties out into a large pond-like area across the main highway where you can fish for the larger ones. So the girls and I just kicked back, decided to relax, and get ready to continue our journey. As we watch the fish in the creek, and wish we could catch them for dinner. But that'll be another day. Enjoy.
and keep watching us. We're still out there on our adventure.